the Associated Press New York AP, the NFL said the number of concussions dropped 29% in 2018 from the previous season, according to preliminary data. The league said Thursday there were 135 documented concussions, down from 190. By including preseason games and practices, concussions fell from a high of 281 to 214, a 23.8% decrease. That was the lowest total since the 2014 season, 206 reported concussions. Of the 538 evaluations for concussions, the league says, 75% ultimately showed no concussions. As we like to say, noted Jeff Miller, the NFL's executive vice president of health and safety, while we're pleased with the fact that concussion numbers are down, and down significantly this year, when it comes to the health and safety of our players, there's no finish line. This is a multi-year process. We'll keep at this and we'll try to figure out why these changes happened, and we'll try to figure out where we set goals. There's still room for improvement. The league began releasing concussion data in 2012. It's a significant decrease, but we're also more interested in why that decrease happened, as opposed to what the number is, Miller said. That's the sort of work we need to roll up our sleeves and do between now and the NFL combined. Next month, Newton has shoulder surgery. Charlotte, NC. AP, Panthers quarterback Cam Newton has had arthroscopic surgery on his right throwing shoulder. The team announced Newton's rehabilitation process will begin immediately and no timetable listed for when he can begin throwing again. The procedure was successfully performed by Panthers team physician Pat Connor. Carolina did not disclose the exact nature of Newton's shoulder injury. The QB also had surgery in March of 2017 to repair a partially torn rotator cuff. Newton struggled all season with right shoulder problems that limited his ability to throw the ball downfield. Panthers coach Ron Rivera decided to hold Newton out of the final two games of the 2018 regular season with shoulder soreness speech.